Hello. Hello. Hello, darling. Okay, anyway. Hi. This is not witchy. This is not educational. This is just me fussing. And it's not like, it's more just like, not that there's a huge difference there, but whatever. I don't know how y'all feel about this, but when I find something that I like, I'm going to have to start buying multiples of the one thing. I have a certain brand of tennis shoes that I wear. I have a certain brand of shoe, like boot, that I like to wear. A certain kind of jean that I like. I have a certain kind of t-shirt that I like. I'm very particular. We've talked about this before. I'm brandy. Not necessarily brandy brandy, like expensive stuff all the time. Unless it's on a killer deal. But like, I like certain things. And I know a lot of us like certain things. So that's not like a huge thing. But when I find something I like and then I can't get it anymore, that's when it becomes a fucking issue. Because I have had three things this week that I cannot replace. And they're all by the same company, which is upsetting. This is the first company in my adult adulthood that I started buying makeup from. Not kid adulthood when I was, you know, anything paler than my natural shade with black eyeshadow and black eyeliner. Because that was multi-purpose. Eyes and lips. You know. And then blush, I guess. Like, to whatever to it was really just a brown eyeshadow that we just right here but anyway outside that like in my adult hood buying makeup i like urban decay i i and and now they're just very disappointing to me because they keep canceling my shit they got rid of my naked palette it was my very first ever palette from them it was really my very first ever palette ever That is a true statement. I just thought about it. That is my very first ever makeup palette was the Naked Palette. The original Naked Palette. It's gone. That was my personal moment of silence. And then, they have the singles of some of their shades. The little round pots. And I have a couple of them. I have 1985 and then something else. Like a blue. But I can't remember the name of it. 1985 is like magenta, purple, pink, whatever. But I was looking for this. There's a color in here that I'm almost out of, but I only want that one color. Like I, this palette's cool, but I only use like four shades in it. And I got this on a killer deal when they were having like a clearance sale. So I only paid like 10, nine or ten dollars for this. And it's it's a good palette. It's 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 been loved. I love it. It's good. But I only want the one shade that I'm running out of because I'm running out of it and I can't buy it anything but this palette. Well, I'm not just a, not gonna buy a whole palette for one shade. So, hmm. Okay, so that's two. I'm out of my favorite lipstick. I thought I lost my favorite lipstick because it was missing in action for a couple of weeks to the point it was driving me nuts on almost a literal thing because I knew I hadn't lost it, but I lost it. You'll just have to take my word for it. It was gone, and then I found it. And I found it in a, like, trickster. Like, I found it somewhere it obviously shouldn't have been. But anyway, I found it. But after I had bought a replacement, because they don't make that shade anymore either. It's like, really? Like, why? That's It's just a perfect nude for me. And me is all I care about right now. And this moment, I just want my lipstick. And I can't get it. So I can't use this lipstick except for sparingly because if I run out, then I'll never have it again. You know what I mean? I'm that type of person. So that's just how I am. 
and I know it's fr it frustrates the hell out of my husband. Like, you have no idea. I have one kind. I have two kinds of mascara that I like. Both very low volley. They work great. The, um, it's yellow. I can't even see. Colossal. I think it's a Maybelline product. It might be L'Oreal, but I think it's Maybelline. <laughs> Love it. I will, I, I buy one, I buy them regularly because I go through a lot of it. Like, that's an everyday thing. Psh, psh, twice a day some days. But then before that one was the, <laughs> and I think it's Maybelline too, um, the pink and green tube is waterproof. I used that up until a couple years ago when I found, um, it wasn't the Colossal that I first found. I was another one. And then tequila actually turned me on to the Colossal. And it was fabulous. I loved it. Anyway. So, yeah. I'm just, I'm being pissy about makeup. Because I'm weird. And I like certain things. And I only like those certain things. Because then it's the end of the world if I can't get it again. Like, I only like one brand of tennis shoe. I like one brand of boot. Not because that's what I have to have. Because it's trendy. It's because I have plantar fasciitis. And that shoe doesn't hurt my foot. And I had to go to the doctor to figure that out. Like, she referred me to a store to get these shoes. You know what I mean? And they're not freaking cheap. I have to save quite a bit to get them. And the little insole thing that goes with them. And then, you know, Doc Martens are not cheap. And I have to save to get those. So, my makeup is my face. And I work in a salon. Not a human one, but still, if you're going to work on a dog. If you're working in any type of salon, I feel like you should represent what you're trying to achieve. You know what I mean? So, you don't want to look like a haggard mess. But yet, you're going to turn this into a beautiful masterpiece. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be a hairdresser and have shit hair. Like, it's just... Those two things don't match. And I can't tell you I'm going to make your dog gorgeous and then look like a hot mess. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's got to be something going on. So, anyway. That was just a ramble. <sighs> Urban Decay. I'm disappointed. And I know I'm not, like, the only one that's disappointed. Like, people have been bitching about them canceling the Naked Palette. Some people, that's like, everybody's go, not everybody. It's a lot of women's and men's go-to palette. It's a, it's a wide variety, neutral palette. It was good. It was the original, right? Why mess with it? A neutral lip. Everybody's neutral is different. This was my neutral, now it's gone. I brought a, another shade, but it's not as good. You know, I'm going to have to learn to love it. It's not love at first application. You know, it's just, I get so frustrated. Like, why do people, why? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it sells, don't get rid of it. Like, there's how many billions of people on them? Like, you could have kept my lipstick. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm just being fussy for no reason. But... That kind of shit irritates me, which brings me to my actual point of this freaking video, is if you find something you like, buy more than one. What is that? It's a military saying. Two is one and one is none. Live by that rule. Just buy multiples. It's just the best way to be. Just buy multiples. Let it go. That way you can rest. And not flip your shit when you can't get your stuff. That's all I'm saying. I have, we have a spirit talk coming out. I'm just getting, I'm just a little, I'm, just, I'm done with the makeup. I'm just, ugh. Anyway, we have a spirit talk coming. I think we're recording tomorrow. I'm not sure if it'll be live. I think it will be because that's kind of the point. But, um, I'm not sure what time nor the topic yet, but I know there's one coming, and it, it'll be good, because they're always good. If, if anything, they're entertaining, even if we get off topic a million and a half times, and I'm the world's worst about getting off topic. That's the bad part. I got makeup in my hair. Whatever. Um, we're going to have a spirit talk, and then we haven't decided the scheduling for how often the card pulls will be, 
but we know they're going to be incorporated in there whether it be every other week or like on a once a month basis we haven't figured that out yet um and i have some i'm probably going to do another makeup -y related video maybe maybe wednesday i might do something more witchy related but I'm trying to keep an even keel of like witchy, non-witchy, educational, entertainment, you know, whatever. I don't want it to get stale. I want to keep it varied, fresh, interesting, whatever. Uh, and then I have um, the requested video for the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. I'm doing some research. My allergies are bothering me. I apologize if I sniff or mess with my nose a lot because my nose is itching me to death. I didn't take an allergy pill today. But anyway, back on subject. Uh, the requested video of the Divine Feminine is coming. It might be out next week. Um, but it is coming. I have not forgotten. It's it's in my notes. I have things scheduled. And I kind of just, oh, I feel like doing this today. You know what I mean? But stuff like that. When people are wanting an opinion on a certain subject, I want to have the time. Like, I already know how I kind of feel on the subject, but then I want to research the subject and then come at it from a more educated point of view. Like, because I might just have a one-sided way of thinking where once I do some research, it might broaden my thinking a little bit. So, I want to do that before I jump into the video and just run my trap about something I, I really haven't fully encompassed all the way if that makes sense so I'm gonna do that and then I have some other stuff like I want to do a tarot collection video an oracle collection video um, uh, a crystal video like what I because I don't have every crystal under the sun but the ones that I do have I like and I use for certain things so I have a video on that coming soon um, but yeah I, I do have some stuff going on I have some things planned like I said witchy non witchy um, and I'm working on something that I might do a video on once the outcome is done good or bad like works or doesn't work if it does work this is how I did it it didn't work this is where I think I could change it bouncing off the um, my spells don't work video that me and tequila did the other day so uh, I do have that coming I need to write it down real quick though but anyway y'all have a good night uh, we'll probably see you in the next day or so take care blessed be